Hello, welcome to The Writing Engineer. In my last episode, we went through publishing a book on Amazon KDP, both for e-format and for hard copy. In my case, a 6x9 paperback book. Today, we'll be covering why you always, always, always get a proof copy. All right, so here it is. My first proof copy of Mars Law Blood Tech. Now this is a proof copy, as you can see here, Amazon puts not for resale on any copy that you order that is a proof copy. So today we're gonna to be going over all the flaws that happened even though I was as careful as I could be with putting this book together. So first you'll notice the title on the book is very far up. This is not really a desirable position for this. It's butting right up to where the book is clipped. And if, if there's any variation in where they cut off the cover for this book, uh, it's going to cut off some of the title. So we're going to have to fix that a little bit. You can see here, also along the edge, that the design doesn't quite go right up to the edge of the book. And we really want that to go right up to the spine so that it will mesh properly with what's on the back here. All right, you can see it, this one goes almost right up to the edge. So back to the front, we'll get to the back in a minute. Also, one of the biggest problems you can see is right here. That's not my name, or at least it's most of my name. The last bit, the last part of the end there got cut off and it's a little squished in here next to the hand. This, this looks unprofessional, All right? So the spine, we're going to look at the spine here now. The spine actually looks pretty good. The spacing is nice. Um, we might want to look uh, into making sure that the fonts are a little bit more uniform. Amara's Law and Blood Tech are, look a little bit to be a different size, although my name and Amara's Law also look pretty good. They look like they're the same size. Now, for the back cover. The back cover has a, little, a few problems here. Uh, the first is that you can see the text on the back cover goes a little bit too close to the edges on both the left and right sides. In addition, uh, I think the font that I used is not really, not super appropriate for the back cover here. Although the design did come out fairly well, um, we're going to want to redo some of that on the back spine. So that's just for the cup. <clears throat> now let's check out what the inside looks like. All right, I have a couple of notes here from someone that, uh, that has been helping me out with this. So the first page looks pretty good, although you'll see that the font is kind of small. This text is pretty dense. Um, you know, you could read it if you have decent eyesight, but I think I might try and increase the font size for that just a little bit. So let's see how the rest of this panned out. Okay, here's another one on this first page here. Then the light to look at this a little bit better. I don't know if you can see, but um, but the, the headers that I have on these pages are actually larger than the text of the book itself. And that's true for both the author name and the book title. So that's something that we're gonna wanna fix. We don't wanna have the, the text at the top here be both what looks like a different font, possibly Times New Roman, be different from the main text of the book. So we're going to want to increase the size of this text, decrease the size, and change the font of this text. Now let's see what we've got here. We're going to go through a couple more pages, at least to the end of this chapter. Okay, it looks like the end of the chapter ended well. Now let's see what we're going... Aha! Okay, so here is another big problem that we've got. So we can see chapter two, a narrow escape. This starts right at the top of the page here. I would really like that to start where the first one did, about one third of the way down the page. So we're gonna have to fix that. I'm, I'm gonna have to look and see why that did. It's probably something uh, along the lines of um, a, a type of break that I used instead of the one I was supposed to use. Um, this type of thing could happen if you use a page break instead of a section break. So we're gonna go, I'm gonna go back into my document and um, see what I've got there and uh, 
make sure that that adjustment is done so that all the other things look proper. You see here that the text is pretty small. We're going to increase that. Yep. And that seems to be prevalent throughout the book that, um, that when the previous chapter ends, that the next chapter's title is not uh, set down the book where it should be. It's uh, ending up at the top here instead of where it should be down here. Now this should have been taken care of in my headings style. Uh, when I put those in there, that should have pushed it down a significant way into the page. So we'll figure out what's going on there. Again, I suspect it's a problem with the section break as opposed to uh, any other real problem. And I think that is going to be the case with most of the rest of the chapters in here. Um, I'm not going to be too worried about the chapters. Aha! I think I think my suspicion is correct because look here. When this when this part this particular chapter didn't didn't uh, finish on this page and then start the next chapter on the next page. So I think what's happening here is there's a problem with my breaks. I, I may have have to go back and check out to make sure that my brakes are doing what they're supposed to be doing. Uh, I apologize if the uh, quality of this video and the audio is a little bad. I don't have proper gear uh, for doing this type of thing. I'm doing the best that I can uh, with what I've got. But it looks like we do still have some work that we have to do on this. Uh, we'll re-upload this as a, as a manuscript. You can follow the same procedure and then just upload the manuscript again. Um, and what it will do is it will write over what you with the manuscript that you uploaded You don't have to delete the manuscript and then re-upload a new manuscript So yeah, this is this is looking like we're gonna have to do some a little bit of work here um, The end is looking fine. So and uh, you know as we've done before the back cover uh, I think that the text on the back cover is also a little large So we'll try and decrease that a little bit put it more into the center here so that there's a nice uh, space on the edges between the two sides and uh, we don't have anything weird going on um, with with the book cover in that respect uh, you can see Amazon here they put their own barcode on the bottom um, and I did make sure to leave some space on the bottom there for that and that's something that you want to pay attention to if um, if you are having your cover designed um, not by Amazon um, yeah it looks like there's a couple of a couple of issues with this you know, we'll have to go back through this, make sure that we've got all those issues sorted out. We'll re-upload the manuscript, which is the exact same way that we did it from last time. And then we'll uh, we'll order yet another proof and uh, and we'll see what happens. You know, so this book um, is usable and workable. We can see that our first proof, let's go to right to the end of the book here. Um, so we're in the roughly 300 page range. The last numbered page that I have is 295. Uh, I believe that Amazon says that this book, uh, this thickness, is roughly 300, a little over 300 pages. So that looks to be about three quarters of an inch thick. That seems to be a decent thickness, something that uh, feels has a good weight to it. Um, so that when you, if you do purchase it, you you will probably feel like this is a, a decent value. So I, I believe that our pricing was also correct. Um, that we did for this. Uh, I believe $13 for a book of this weight and with a nice cover on it like this. Um, I'm actually not liking so much the glossy cover here. It's doing a little bit of a um, little bit of reflection and causing some some trouble. Um, and I'm gonna see if I can zoom in a little bit here. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but um, the the cover image that I'm looking at, yeah, it's a little bit fuzzy. So I think the resolution is not what we want. I think I'm gonna uh, increase the resolution. I believe the cover resolution that I used for this, um, I followed their minimum guidelines uh, for 100 DPI for the image. And I think that's not what we wanna do. I think I'm gonna stick with my original uh, format of 300 DPI, upload a much larger file because I am not pleased with, um, with how fuzzy uh, the images on the front here. It's pixelated and uh, I think it, it, it's, a, it's a little bit lower quality than I think it should be. So I may even go back and, uh, and change it. We had, this one is a glossy. Uh, you can see here with the light reflecting off of it uh, that it is a high finish. We're gonna try our next one, 
We're going to try a matte finish. I think that might make things look a little bit better uh, and increasing the uh, resolution of the image that we put on this is going to make this look uh, really snappy. So we're going to change all of this, make sure that it's resized so that the title comes down a little bit more, make sure that my name, which, you know, I think is kind of important to have on the front of the book, is, uh, is legible and is uh, not squished in where this image of the hand comes down and just kind of readjust all this stuff. Um, so the next proof that we get, we'll hold these two side by side. We'll do a comparison and, um, you know, hopefully by that point, we'll be ready to release this for uh, general consumption. Thank you very much. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's content. If you did, please click uh, the thumbs up and leave a comment below. If you didn't like it, go ahead and click the thumbs down. Tell me what you thought was wrong or what I could do better. That's the only way that we can get some better quality content uh, for anyone who's consuming this. Amara's Law Blood Tech is available uh, for the Kindle in both uh, Kindle Unlimited and just as a regular purchase for $3.99. I hope you guys enjoyed today's content. Thank you very much and have a good evening. Hello, welcome to The Writing Engineer. Last time, we... <laughs> <clears throat> Let's try this again.